everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to sit down and just share with you a few signs of healing dimple piercings. Now, for me, I've had my dimple piercings for over a year, so I definitely have had experience with them. Um, if you're curious, I do have like lots of videos about my dimple piercings, which is linked in a playlist down below in the description box. And also, I am doing a dimple piercing Q&A where if um, you just have any questions about dimple piercings in general, or about mine, or wh what have you, or if you know I didn't answer something in one of my mini dimple piercing videos, you can ask me in that video, which I will also have linked down below. Let's go check that out, and I think that's it. Let's get into the video. Alright, so I would have to say the first sign of healing dimple piercings is kind of obvious, but I feel like I have to include it in here just because, um, and that is if there is no pain or tenderness around the piercing. Um, I mean, obviously, when you first get your dimples pierced, they're going to hurt. That's just part of it. You know, that's kind of part of it getting any piercing is that it's going to hurt. Um, but, you know, if you've had it for, like, over six months or so, and it is still hurting and it's, you know, tender or whatnot, that could be a bad sign. You really need to go talk to your pierced about that because that could mean that they're not healing right All right, right so well. another sign would have to be that there is no swelling, um, either on your like, whole cheek or just around the piercing. For those of you who don't know, um, when you get your cheeks pierced, your whole cheeks swell. That's just part of it because that's a lot of trauma to your um, cheek tissue. So yeah, your whole cheeks, they swell. You know, some people's cheeks swell more than others. Mine personally really didn't swell too much. They did definitely swell, but not like huge chipmunk cheeks. Um, but yeah, but if there's any like swelling around the area, then that could be an indication that they are not Another sign would have to be there's no sign of migration. Now, if you don't know what migration is, that is when the body decides that it wants to put the piercing in a different spot of the body or, you know, move the piercing right out of the body. For instance, um, for those of you who have been on my channel, you know that my first two attempts at getting my navels pierced, uh, my navels, I only have one navel, my navel pierced, um, my body, like, migrated that shit, like, the first time it migrated my, the jewelry right out of my body, and then the second time it started to migrate the jewelry out and then migrated it sideways. So there's no sign of migration. Last but certainly not least is lymph excretion. Now, if you don't know what lymph is, it's just a clear fluid, like clear whitish kind of fluid, um, that you know it's like super super common um, for all piercings, but extremely common with cheek piercings. So, like I said, it's a clear fluid clear whitish kind of fluid um, and it's like I said it's common for your cheek piercings to have that coming out um, but just watch out if it's like a lot coming out um, you might want to go talk to your piercer for those of you who haven't been around my channel for a while I had that problem with I believe it was this one um, where it was just a lot a lot a lot of lymph just like coming out like oozing out kind of like I couldn't go into public because it was just like oozing down my face it's gross whatever, um, and I had to go to my piercer, and he had to put different tops on, um, that weren't, like, flat back, so, um, you know, that fluid could get out, and after he did that, like, that problem was gone, so just be careful if it's all, like, a lot, you might want to go talk to your piercer about it, um, but if it's any but other color besides, like, like, any other color besides, like, a clear whitish kind of color, you definitely want to go talk to your piercer, because if it's, like, yellow or something, that could be a sign of infection, and you really need to get that shit checked out. Alright, so that is it, just for those few signs of healing dimple piercings. Now, I do want to say, though, that, like, dimple piercings are a serious piercing, and I have said this in, like, all of my dimple piercing videos, and I will continue to say, they are a serious piercing, you definitely need to do your research, you need to talk to a piercer, or the piercer that you go to, whatever, um, and keep in mind, some piercers will not even do this piercing, because it is definitely more of an advanced piercing, so your piercer, if you go to like a regular one, may not even do it. So you definitely need like to Like I said at the beginning that. of this video, I have a lot of dimple piercing videos that you guys can check out. I documented my dimple piercing journey from like the first like four days that I got it done, I think. I did like a video where it was like day one through day four, and then like monthly updates, and then my yearly updates. So I have like a lot of videos about my dimple piercings. Um, so yeah, go check those out. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias, which is always linked down below in the description box. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching my video. And hopefully I will see you in my next one.